up guys and, and welcome back to the episode of the F123 Mobile Racing Crew. We are for episode number 9 today then for the finale of season 2 at the Italian Grand Prix. Our home Grand Prix, I mean not really, but it's the team's home Grand Prix form uh, nonetheless. Then. But we're here then, let's see what we got then in this outro. And one more spin with this team here before we move on to season 3. And it's going to be interesting to see where we come out then for season 3. Which team are we going to sign for then? It's, not, it's, been a, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a 2x2. Two at the moat here with a lot of teams kind of being defined by the straight line speed and the power that as it's a uh, really a two by two of Red Bull, uh, Aston Martin, Ferrari, Mercedes, Alcon, it's all kind of team, no it's Alpine my guy. Anyways then let's get started the lap then into our turn one we went to the first chicane down to second gear try to carry as much speed as, as we possibly can. We don't get the greatest run though through that corner so it's going to cost us a little bit there down uh, towards the next chicane here. I mean really Monza is just all about speed, so it's not really ideal that uh, we compromise a bit of, uh, of our speed through these corners. There. Although it might be needed if we do want to try and get a decent lap time. 27.92 through that first sector, and well, I mean, that's just a terrible run through that corner. Not really ideal that as we make our way through the next sequence of corners here, now we're starting to find some time and finding a way through this a lap then. Through the sequence of corners we go, and that is us uh, through Lesmos 1 and Lesmos 2. We break there, as I thought the DRS would be activated at that point, but apparently it was not then. A uh, big deep down by the DRS. Some of these DRS zones in this game, I have noticed for quite some time, are completely off, and like that one. Canada's also kind of screwed over as well. There are a couple others, but I'm not going to name them at the moment here. Let's just focus on this lap then, and try to complete it as quickly as we can here. As we make our way towards Parabolica, then for the first time, then, or the only time in qualifying side here, not getting the greatest run from there. I don't feel like we can really get a decent run. I've never gotten that corner actually dead on, so very hard to get. I mean, even harder to get in real life because you really want to maximize that speed across the line. We go that uh, is going to put us then piece two on the grid, then even better than our trip at Hungary. But look at the lap time. Um. What? You saw that, right? Some lap times the two minutes. I'm gonna ignore the starting group for now. I'm, you guys saw that, right? There are lap times in the four minutes. What are these guys doing? Anyways, forget about that. Let's go to five red lights then for the Italian Grand Prix, the finale of season two. Let's end it off with the good result. Lights out, and away we go here at the Temple of Speed. Then Paris gets to jump on us. We're not gonna fight the two or stroll gets past us here. Uh, Sainz and Alonso both trying to get past this here, but we're going to have the, uh, uh, the widest roadblock you can ever see down the inside, you know, we thought about going down the inside, then, uh, Stroll here, trying to get a decent run then out of these corners here, remember, last step to Stroll, me and Stroll had a bit of beef there, so, there's still a bit of tension between us here, so we're going to try to get past him as quickly as possible, Alonso going to try to make a move then around the outside, we're going to tuck back into the slip and get a nice slip screen then, Put a slingshot away to the inside then, and we do manage to get back ahead then of this bed, and then back up into P4 then, looking ahead of Stroll, he's in the podium spot right now, but if we can steal that podium spot, that would be some sweet, sweet stuff then, and some more karma from Hungary then, but we gotta catch him first, eat one thing to dream about it, another thing to try and catch him, and so far, he's doing pretty well to stay ahead of us, he's pulled a second to us at the moment, and you can see the straight line speed deficit that we have compared to the Aston Martin Alonso is flying right now as he almost had a look there up the inside at Parabolica there. I'm uh, not Parabolica, Ascari. And we do manage to stay ahead of him at the moment, at the moment in time, pulling out a second and a half on him, trying to stay with Stroll here. Just doing our best then to try and get a good result for the team. And if we did finish P4, then it would still be a decent result. It would tie our season best result. With the previous episode, of course, last episode, we did manage to come home in, in P4. So look at the straight... That's disgusting. Look at the Aston Martin straight line speed. That is insane. As we make our way into the first game for the second time, we're trying to get a decent run to the game on the power a lot earlier compared to last time here. And now we get a decent run through that corner and make our way towards the next chicken. I think this is very on to go. Roger, I think the first corner, the first chicken is called by the Hero. And then you have the Lesmos, Ascari, and Parabolic. I don't know all the uh, corner names, so unfortunately, so I'm going to do a bit of research on that. Somehow not getting a corner cut penalty to lose that section here, and energy, actually managing to pull a gap into Alonso ever so slightly, but we do go way too wide there, and 
somehow in the process I get a corner cut even though we went wide on exit which is not ideal and look at the time loss that gave us as Leclerc now tries to make a move on us we're gonna block him then but that corner cut was so brutal that was Literally, we're now stuck in this fight, then Hamilton's gonna try to have a move, or that's Russell, I'm not 100% sure, that's no, because Hamilton's there. We make our way into the next corner, we go, close the door on these guys, they're gonna be squabbling behind us, so hopefully we can put some breathing in there, but that's cost us some major, 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 major time to us, and the problems are gonna continue as we have a huge lapse in concentration here, as we went straight into the wall, we almost clutch sides in the process there, Alonso's oh, gonna try to get past us, Russell's on our inside here. I don't know what happened out there. I was too busy trying to think about what just happened there. I did not notice the car it went straight into the grass until it was way too late there. Now Gas is going to try to look at He's going to go completely off the track there and somehow he manages to not lose anything. You saw that as well. Like literally, we we went on a certain part and he slowed us down. But Gas just flies by. Uh, I, I, I even had a voice to this because I was so surprised. And, all of a sudden, that's just us down to P10 then. We were dreaming of a podium spot, and now that's all gone then, as we're stuck fighting for one point here with Alcon in the LP and Piastri in the McLaren as well. So, not really ideal scenes as Russell gets all out of shape then through that chicane as he tries to go for a move on Gasly. Can we send it up the inside? It's going to be very close then. Russell does back out in the end of it then. And we somehow managed to stay ahead of him then. Now trying to get Gassy here as quickly as we possibly can. We're waiting for the DRS to open. Waiting for the uh, the DRS zone incoming thing said it was ready. Okay, whatever. I guess this game is rigged. But whatever. We're going to make it up anyway. The first car we go then. We this chicane. Getting a decent one to them. But we get too caught up then on the side. And that's going to cost us momentum to down this straight. As I was thinking of a move. Uh, on Gasly into the final corner, but that's just not going to happen. Because that's going to win the Grand Prix then ahead of Perez, Stroll, and I do not know who finished fourth. I think, I think it was Leclerc who finished fourth then, signed fifth, Hamilton sixth, Alonso seventh, I think, and then comes Gasly in eighth. We're going to come home in ninth. A very disappointing result then, because we could have come home in P4 or P3, but that is how we're going to end season two, unfortunately, then not really ideal then, as we did come home ahead of these guys.